We had a customer that came in yesterday and brought in this board. I do not know what this board is for. He just said that he broke the connector of the board and he wants it soldered back. I tried to look up the number online and I was not able to tell what this board is for. I believe this board may be for a TV or something else. No idea. We have the HDMI port here, Ethernet, audio, so on and so forth. The board was brought in here because customer broke up the connector and he wants it soldered back. So he brought us both the board and the connector. And right off the bat, I do see that the connector pads are ripped off the board. I told him that he can pick up today. How difficult can this be? We can see that the connector has three pins and three ripped pads off the board. The first thing we need to do is clean the pins. We need to remove those pads that are stuck onto the pins. And after we do so, we need to actually secure this connector down on the board. As you can see, we have no pads left, so there is no way to secure that connector on the board. It's going to wobble back and forth because we cannot solder it anywhere. So what I'm going to do is apply a bit of glue on the left and the right so we can secure the connector in place. And then what we will do is we're going to connect the pins to their respected components. In this case, it's obvious that we need to connect this to this this to this and this to this okay some people are complaining that our videos are not long enough or repairs are fast i record whatever i'm working on whether it's an easy repair fast repair simple repair quick repair whatever i'm working on i record Be right there uh -huh. How much will this cost? It's not powering. You've been watching on YouTube, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you have to meet the real deal. Yeah. It still wouldn't turn on. Okay. So I finally plugged it in, and it turned on, and it worked like for a day or two. And then it stopped. And then it stopped again. Okay, it looks like we may have a problem with the charging circuit of the motherboard. Right now, if you plug the charger in and you press the power button, what happens? Um, if I press the power button, it'll yeah. turn off. It's nice when a customer comes in and says hi because... He found you on YouTube. Mariano Casillas just came in. He brought in a hard drive for data recovery and he brought in an Asus laptop that does not power on. I told him I'm going to give him a shout out. Very nice guy. Let's continue working on this board. Okay, and this one we don't have to remove it because it's flat. So it's not going to matter if it's taken out or not. Let's just keep it. And now the next thing we need to do is secure this connector in place so we can solder it. And what we need to do is apply glue on both sides. Just a tiny bit. We do not need to apply a lot. A little bit here and a little bit here. And before that glue dries, let's put the connector on. Let's hold it down for a bit. Okay, so the connector, connector is solid in place. Now, the connector being solid does not mean that the customer can pull and push on it. It's solid to a point where he can plug whatever goes here. And it's solid enough, actually. It's very solid to a point where he can plug the connector. And once the connector is plugged in here, he's not going to tamper with it. It's going to go inside whatever device it should go inside. And now all we have to do is run wires from the pins over to here, here, and here. I'm going to apply a solder blob here, solder blob here, solder blob. Can you say solder blob 10 times quick? We're going to apply a solder blob here, a solder blob here, and a solder blob here. And then we're going to run the wire here to here, here to here, here to here. Now we also need to tin the pins so we can solder wires onto them. We're going to grab our 0 0.1 millimeter wire. We're going to 
go from here to right over here. Now, if we move that pin, you see how that wire moves along with the pin? And now let's cut that wire. We're going to do the same right over here. Wait. A guy want to know if he can send in his iMac motherboard. It doesn't turn on, it doesn't work, but he want to only send in the motherboard. It's recommended that the customer send the whole machine in for testing. I know it's going to cost more for shipping, but there's so much we can do by having just the motherboard. Okay, so we have a solid connection. And now, last but not least, we need to do this one here. Okay. And the job is done. The job is done. Let's test to make sure we have a continuous path. Very good. Very good. And very good. Everything is good. And let's clean up. Just want to apply a little bit of more solder at this point here. Much better. Okay, and look at that. The connector is super solid. I'm applying good pressure on it and very solid. Okay, that's it. Job is done. Connector is soldered right over here. We're going to call the customer to come and pick up. It's a local drop off. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.